Hey brothers and sisters. Alright, finally, here is that video that I've been trying to make for what feels like ages. You would not believe how many times I've had to re-record this particular video, but I would be willing to do it as many times as it took because it deals with a very serious message that has to do with all of our walks and um, that is ever relevant from this point up until we leave. So, I didn't want to leave things out, so I went on ahead and I wrote down what I made the video about so that I could just go ahead and read my notes off to you guys in this video. And so, I'm going to start now. Here's the beginning. This has been on my heart for a minute now. It was what I thought was simply an idea. Yet, I kept feeling pressed in my spirit to talk about it. If I didn't make a video about this, something kept pressing me to go on and do it. When that happens, it's the Lord letting me know that it's important. So here I am. That message is that honestly, the more I'm on YouTube and look at stuff on YouTube, the more I kind of don't want to because I see the problem. There is a lot of honest, pure-hearted, God-loving, brethren-loving people on here that are truly here because they love the Lord and they love the brethren. They don't have other motives, but at the same time, there is all the more of those that have like a fake humility and a fake anointing. It's almost as if it's for show. It's like they got on YouTube just so they can appear like they're greater. What comes to me when I see those people is, this is one of those people who see what God is doing with his true children, and they want it. But at the same time, they don't really want to submit to God. So sometimes they don't receive the things that his true children receive, and that causes them to fabricate it or duplicate it. But what, it, what that really is, is a counterfeit. For every gift of the Spirit, there's a counterfeit. Whatever gift God gives, Satan tries to turn that around into something else for sinister purposes, which is to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's why I'm making this video to warn you guys to make sure that now especially, you're not letting anything else fill in the space that only God should occupy. By that, I mean when it comes to revelation, understanding, or discerning something, Instead of going to your brother and sister and saying, Hey, what does this mean? Or saying, Can you interpret this? Before you do that, if you do that at all, make sure that you go directly to God and ask Him. We as brethren, our job is not to play God. And I really pray that you hear what I'm saying here because this is so serious. Like when God says He's a jealous God and that there is to be none before Him, that means the brethren too. That means your best friend, that means your husband, your wife, your favorite YouTuber. That means anybody who you let occupy the space that only he's supposed to occupy. That means don't go to anyone else first before you go to him when it comes to Revelation. Do you guys understand how serious and how widespread deception is on YouTube? I'm not making this video to bash any specific person. I don't do that on this channel, but I do warn on this channel. Anyone that this applies to, you can fill in your own blank of whoever's out there that plays the role really well to look like a sheep, but I'm not even kidding you, they are wolves in sheep's clothing. And that's why when you go to their channel, you click off their video, and you're feeling confused or you're feeling afraid. That is not from God. You shouldn't be leaving anybody's channel feeling that way. Or that's your red alert to stay away from that channel and pray for that person. I'm saying this to warn. Don't let anyone take the place of God. I can't stress that enough. Um, like, for example, God bless you, sister, if you're watching this video. There was a sister who commented on a video of mine asking me what I think about how she saw some people talking about something, saying that there was something that wasn't acceptable, but in her own walk, God wasn't giving her that same answer for her. She was like, oh, well, God's leading me to to see that this is an acceptable thing. 
but other people were like kind of condemning it like this is bad and my answer to her was just to make sure that you're listening to what God told you because like that that's the importance of a relationship with him you know <laughs> you know how they say follow the leader like who's the leader the leader is Jesus you know what I mean so just we need to make sure that we're walking like that pay attention that it's God who's leading you and that he's the one who's giving you understanding the first and foremost it must be God because of all the deception that's out there there are crown thieves that are trying their hardest to throw off the bride now it's like the closer we get to leaving the worse they get the darkness in them intensifies as the, as the light in us intensifies sorry just a moment I have to find the spot okay they are definitely more intense as we approach the time of our removal Another reason we need to be putting God first is because as human beings, it's simply within our capacity and our nature to make mistakes. Even if God really does give us a message or if he really does give us a dream, we can make a mistake and misinterpret it, even if we're not trying to. You can find lots of repentant videos on YouTube saying, sorry brothers and sisters that I misrelayed this message. Not because they're bad people and not because they're the wolves, but because we as humans can make mistakes. I implore you guys, please don't let a human being be your source of information. Because the truth is, none of us understand it all completely. But God, who holds all wisdom and understanding, does. Scripture says we prophesy in part, so that means none of us knows all the answers. That helps to keep us humble and to be as iron sharpens iron. But we're not meant to play God. We're here to help each other, but not to be the source of anything. Because every good thing that we have come from the source himself so who does it make more sense to go to as a priority obviously god so be really really careful especially now who you're listening to on youtube because there are a lot of fake sheep another thing let's say that you know god told you something but you go on someone's youtube channel and just because they said something different you might think oh no i must not have heard from god or maybe you did hear from God and that person got their own separate revelation which wasn't for you. Or that person could be literally just lying so that they can throw off the sheep. Both cases can be found a lot on YouTube. Just make sure you're listening to God before man, no matter who it is. Whoever God uses in your life, don't let them become an idol. Because if you do, sometimes God lets you go astray because you're choosing to look to them above him. God may let you go astray and let... The person you're following make a mistake so that you can experience the confusion of, oh my gosh, what do I do now? He lets you experience that if you prioritize anyone over him. That's what happens if you look to someone else as though they were God, when there's really only one God, just him. This is very important. God wants our whole devotion. He doesn't want us putting a brother or sister on a pedestal. It doesn't matter how many dreams or visions they've had. It doesn't even matter if their dreams and visions have come to pass. Just make sure that you aren't looking to them above God. So that was pretty much the message. And yeah, the gist is God is supposed to be the head of our lives. And we, as, as followers of Christ, we should never, ever forget that. You know, I know there's a lot of... YouTube videos, a lot of channels, like I said, there's a lot of genuine brothers out there and sisters out there, and we watch their videos and we get super excited and, sorry, we get super excited because their videos are compelling and maybe they got confirmations of what we also ourselves received because, you know, there's one Holy Spirit and we're all united by the Holy Spirit, so we get similar revelations. You know, we all get a piece, but at the same time, we should never stop praying on our own. We should never stop checking back with God. We should never, ever, 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 ever forsake that. Because God says you are to have no gods before him. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, let's not get it twisted and think that it's not, think that it's impossible to make a brother or sister an idol because it absolutely is. And I've seen, I've seen it happen where, there have been channels with a whole lot of attention that they started off good and then all of a sudden their messages started getting really, really deceptive. And then the people started to get divided like, oh, who do I believe? Well, you're supposed to believe God. What does his word say? You know what I mean? 
Um, it's really that simple, but it's a trap that a lot of people fall into. And I don't want that to be you. <laughs> Not now. This is the time of our rejoicing, but you know, where there's confusion, it's kind of hard to, to rejoice because like there are crown thieves. They want to take your crown of joy and you can let them take your crown if you're letting them control what you take in and you're not running it by God. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Please keep God first. I've said that so many times on this channel, but it's a worthy message that I don't mind repeating. I love you guys and yeah, stay strong, stay encouraged, keep praying, keep watching. I'm not saying don't ever watch a YouTube channel, but I'm saying there's a lot of videos out there that are just in the spirit of deception <laughs> and you don't want to get caught up. You know, a lot of people, they always go on these rapture channels and they're like, oh, you're going to get in trouble for misleading the sheep. Well, what if I told you that the sheep are also at fault? If they're getting deceived, it's because they listen to a voice over God. If all you listen to is God, you don't get deceived because God doesn't, he's not a man that he should lie. So you're not going to get caught up in lies. You're not going to get caught up in confusion. It's just going to be truth and understanding and that's it. And that's really all that we need. That's all that we need to be putting out and sharing. And that's all that we need to be taking in. I love you guys. Please take this to heart. I love you. Bye.